the green hydrogen value chain that Andrew is playing such an integral part in developing must lead to the creation of new businesses and new supply chains. Particularly, please as I very, listen very carefully to what corporate executives have to say. When CEO of Vendor American was pointing to this truck and saying, yes, we now have the ability to ensure that some parts of this truck, including the market, are actually refashioned and manufactured here in the community. And that to me is very pleasing. <laughs> so because in the end this must result in more opportunities and employment for people of South Africa, starting right here in the coast. And it is pleasing and I'm glad that the trade union is here as well. And I'm glad that the provincial government is here as well, which tells me at the national level of government that there is a very positive relationship and partnership that exists between Anglo American, the provincial government, and indeed the local governments here, as well as the trade union. There continues to be a number of companies in our country that relate to trade unions from a hostility point of view, where some of them will not even want to sit down to negotiate in a positive way with their unions. Now, that should belong to the past. We have been through that. I, together with Minister Mataj, the leaders in the trade union, that's trying to fashion a better relationship between companies and unions, where we sought and succeeded in many ways to improve the labor relations between workers and their employees. Now, to the extent that that continues, it's concerning because Hostility between employers and unions should really belong to the dustbin of history. What we are seeing here today in the presence of the corporate, its unions and communities, is what the future should be all about. It is what we should be doing as a nation. We should not continue being trapped by what we went through in the past where there is just total hostility amongst the stakeholders. We want the stakeholders to build compacts, to build really smart relationships, whether it is on climate change issues, whether it's on wage negotiations, whatever it is. Stakeholders must continue to be engaged and work together so that they find consensus and build smart relationships rather than to be in conflict.